Understanding the future simple and causative passive voice. Hello, English learners. Welcome to another exciting lesson in our series on English grammar. Today, we are going to delve into a rather fascinating topic. The future simple tense in the causative passive voice. By the end of this video, you will know how to construct sentences in the future simple tense using the causative passive voice. Sounds challenging? Don't worry, we'll break it down together. Before we jump into the future tense, let's review what we mean by causative passive voice. In English, we use the causative form when we arrange for someone else to do something for us. This can be done with the verbs have or get. The passive causative form specifically is used when the focus is not on who will perform the action but on the action itself. For example, active. I will have John repair my car. I arranged for John to repair my car. Passive. I will have my car repaired. I arranged for my car to be repaired by someone. In the passive causative form, we don't specify who will do the repairing. The emphasis is on the action, my car being repaired, and not on who is performing the action. Now let's dive into our main topic. Causative passive voice in future simple. The future simple tense is used to talk about actions that have not yet happened but will happen at a later time. In the causative passive voice, the structure is as follows. I will have get plus object plus past participle. For example, I will have my hair cut. She will get her house painted. In both sentences, the speakers arrange for something to be done in the future. However, they do not say who will do these actions. Let's practice constructing sentences using the future simple in the causative passive voice. 1. He will have his suit tailored. He arranges for his suit to be tailored in the future. 2. They will get their garden landscaped. They arrange for their garden to be landscaped in the future. 3. I will have my teeth checked. I arrange for my teeth to be checked in the future. Remember to keep the focus on the action and not on who is performing the action. And that's a wrap on using the causative passive voice in future simple tense. We hope this video has made this grammar concept easier for you. Remember, mastering any new concept in a language takes time and practice, so keep practicing these structures, and soon, it will become second nature to you. Until next time, keep learning and happy studying.